Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I humbly thank you for checking out the channel. I do appreciate the support. If you like what you're about to see, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you'd like to see future content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. All right, let's get into it. All right, today we're going to explore two of my favorite plugins on modded servers. Uh, the first one is Gather Manager and the second one is Stack Size Controller. They're two of the most commonly used plugins in Rust because it creates uh, the most drastic change to gameplay. So the first one we're going to deal with is Gather Manager, which increases how much you how much materials you gather when you pick stuff up off the ground or if you're harvesting a tree or harvesting an animal or whatever. So we're going to get into that and then we'll get into stack size controller after. We need to get said plugins. So we're just going to uh, hop over to umod and we are going to search for and now there's a couple of different plugins that you can use to accomplish the same things um the plugins that i discuss in my videos are ones that i've worked with for a really long time so i know that they all work together and they're not going to create conflicts with each other so uh the first one we're going to get is gather manager yeah see the first one there is advanced gather all that stuff like there's there's a whole bunch of different things that do the same thing, but we want Gather Manager. And while I'm here, I'm also going to get Stack Size Controller. Okay, so we'll deal with Gather Manager first. And there we go. All right, so in our download folder, we have Gather Manager right here. And we're just going to copy that. We're going to go into our Oxide folder and drop it into our uh, Oxide plugins folder. And then we see it generate right there. So let's, uh, let's check out the configuration. So let's just check and see where we're at right now. So if we hit this log right here, we're getting 30 per hit. Right? So we were getting 30 per hit from the log and our pickup rate is 50 per. So let's say we want to increase that uh, value. Uh, let's say we want to do it three times as much. So we want to have 90 per hit of a log and 150 uh, when you pick one up off the ground. So let's go, let's go to our server here and let's do um, uh, gather rate. Okay, so now there's a couple of things we can do differently here. So we can do each individual element, I call them. So wood, stone, metal, ore, sulfur. Uh, we can do each one individually or we can do all of them all together. So let's say we want to increase the gather rate of all of our elements across the server to three times. So what we would do is we'd go, all right, so we're gonna go uh, gather dot rate and we want a uh, dispenser and I'll explain the differences between the different containers here in a second. So gather rate asterisk three. So now it says you've set the gather rate for asterisk, which means all of the elements to three times from resource dispensers. We also wanna take care of um, uh, pickups and quarries at the same time. So gather dot rate pickups uh, asterisk and we want that three times as well. Oops. Uh, my bad. All right. So we want to do gather rate uh, for pickup times three as well. So that the the log that we saw sitting on the ground there, we can it was default at uh, 50 wood per pickup and we're going to increase that to 150 wood per pickup. There we go. All right, so we also want to, while we're at it, uh, I'm just I'm just doing this to show you guys what you can control. So we can control the gather rate of quarries too. So um, if you wanna do uh, all four elements all at the same time, uh, you can just do gather.rate quarry asterisk. Uh, let's say you wanted your quarry rate to be at five. You could do that, but you have to spell things properly, so gather rate dot quarry asterisk five you've set the gather rate for your asterisks to times five from mining quarries uh, you can also do survey charges as well but as you well know that there's no uh, survey charges aren't used in the game anymore so i mean granted you can still uh, bring them into the game if you want to but now you know so let's say you wanted to uh let's say you just wanted to do you wanted to increase just the stone of your uh quarry to let's say you wanted your stone to be at 10 
and everything else you wanted at five. So like this setup that we've got here, the first command that we did is gather rate, gather dot rate quarry times five, which makes everything at five times the rate. Uh, and then we went back in and changed gather rate of stones to times 10. So your, your stone and metal quarry is going to generate more stone than everything else, which it does from default anyways, but now you're just increasing how much it produces. All right, so now we've made these changes in here. So let's say that we want to, uh, we want to validate those changes. So we can actually go into our configuration and we can open up our gather manager. So we can actually go into our config file for gather manager and it will actually tell you everything. So gather manager for um, the dispensers is at three. Gather manager for pickups is at three. Now gather manager for asterisk, which is everything, is at five, but gather manager for stones specifically is at 10 times. So that's how your quarry will generate its product is based on those values there. All right, so let's go into the game and actually test and make sure that what we said we were gonna do is actually happening. So let me just find a log over here. Okay, so I happened to come across just a chunk of wood laying on the ground sooner than I found a log. So let's test that. So we're going to pick that up. And there you go. You can see the wood I picked up was 150. So we'll carry on and look for a log and just test that, test that out. All right, so here we are at a log here. And we should be getting, what did I say? It was 30 before. So we should be getting 90 per hit. And there we go. We're getting 90 per hit for wood. All right, so let's, uh, we can test the other elements too, although I know that it already works. Uh, so you'll see, I'm gonna pick up this chunk of stone right here, and you'll see that it's three times more than defaults or vanilla, so 150 stone there as well. All right, so that's Gather Manager in a nutshell. And there's not much to it. Once you have it set up, it's, uh, it's just done. You don't ever have to deal with it again. There's very few th times that this plugin will actually break on you or anything. You shouldn't ever have to deal with it. And it's a super simple setup and uh, it's a great way to modify your server. Okay, so the second one that I wanna get into is stack size controller. So one of the problems you're gonna see and you can already see it in my inventory. Okay, so as you can see, I've now taken down two logs and one tree and you can see, which is not very much effort. And you can already see that my stack sizes are already going to be an issue, right? So we wanna increase. So instead of only being able to stack to 1000, we can actually go in and configure that to whatever it is that we want it to be. All right, so let's jump over to UMod and grab stack size controller. And here, as you can see, I've already got it up there. So let's grab this and we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna go back into our plugins folder and we're just gonna dump that in there and we're gonna wait for it to generate up here. Okay, so stack size controller, for any of you that have been around for any significant period of time, you remember that you used to have to go through and actually manually modify the stack size that you want for each individual item in the game. And believe me, there's a lot of them. So um, I will show you what I'm talking about. So this list right here is every single item that is stackable inside the game. And as you can see, the list is very extensive. And these numbers here are just default or vanilla. All right, so let's say that we want to change the size of the stacks for uh, just ammunition and we're gonna get into the rest here in a little bit But I want to explain something really quick. That's kind of a cautionary tale for you So let's say that we want to increase the stack size of ammo to 256 so to, to do it the simplest way and the easiest way We just want to change this ammunition stack size to 256 now if you're going to use this aspect of the plugin you actually have to go in and delete the data file for stack size controller before you do anything else. So you save it and then you want to delete this. Okay. And then you want to go to your server and you want to reload that plugin. Okay. And we'll let that regenerate. So now if we go back into our folder here, into our data folder and we open that up, now we can see that all of our stack sizes are 256 simply because of the one change that we made right here. And then we deleted the actual data folder. Now, 
The problem with that is it all it increases the stack sizes for all ammunition. So that's everything from 556 to pistol ammo to uh, sh uh, shotgun rounds for the grenade launcher, uh, rockets. Everything goes to size 256, which you probably don't want for your average modded server. Okay, so if we're just using the automatically generated config file to make these changes, that's what's going to happen. So like, let's say uh, we wanted to make all of our construction components at 20. Well, that means all doors, uh, garage doors, everything construction related will go to stack size 20. So it's a quick and easy way to quickly change your stack sizes, but it's not very effective and it's not, it's not really what you want to use, but it's there and you can use it. What I would prefer to use is if you use the stack size controller JSON in the data folder. This way you can actually individually control the stack height for absolutely every single thing in the game. Now by default, you can't increase the stack sizes of anything that has a health, okay? So like key cards or fuses or weapons or anything like that, or tools for that matter. You can't change the stack size of those. There is a way. We're not going to get into that because that's pretty advanced stuff. So anyways, back to our stack of wood that we have in our inventory right now. We want to increase that. I'm just going to increase it to uh, 10,000 just for argument's sake. So down here by wood, increase that number to 10,000. Make sure we click save on. All right. So we've reloaded our stack size controller for that one element which is wood and then we can go back to gameplay and we can actually check this out all right so now as you can see i should be able to drag this over and plop it on top of the other one and now my stack sizes is no longer an issue and you can see this all over the place with the we did stack sizes for 256 on ammo uh, so that is replicated here as well all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you found this at all helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up for me. It helps me out more than you could ever imagine. If there's something that you felt I didn't cover in either one of these two plugins, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll look at every single comment and uh, I will take your advice. And if something needs to be covered, I will go back and, and do it over again. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one.